Oftentimes, people have asked me, no sir, comedy, how will immigration of US or Canada know that I am coming? I will tell them they know. I said, how? Others have also asked me, what happens if I overstay my visa in US, Canada, UK, and other countries? What are those things that can lead to overstaying your visas? And some have also asked, what is overstay? Because you can't give me a five-year visa and you will tell me I have to leave after six months. So, how is that one overstay? And also, people have also reached out to me telling me, Nusa Komendi, I have overstayed my visa. What do I do? These are things I will be talking to you about in this video. What to do when you overstay your visa and others in this video. So this is something I have decided to make a video on today because for some time now, a lot of people have been reaching out to me, asking me these questions. So today I have decided to answer with this video. So be ready to ride with me. For those of you who are just coming across me for the first time, my name is Nosa Comedy. So welcome to my channel and do well to subscribe so that our channel can grow because right here we are doing a lot of good things for free. And also share this video to friends, family who might need it and also give this video a big thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend this video to others who might have interest. Now, let me treat the first question. Because I told somebody one time, I said, they know that you are coming because you said you are going in a few weeks. He said, how did they know? They gave me visa. I didn't tell them the exact date I would be coming. Now, do you know that when you book for your flight, when you book your flight ticket, I believe these airlines may have to send manifest of the passengers who are booked to fly with them to that country that gave you visa where you want to visit. So have you thought about that? Or do you think you will book a flight and the airline does not answer to anybody? No. I think the airline will have to send the names, which is the manifest of people who are booked to fly with that airline. So this is how they know. So in many cases, you see that sometimes when some countries' passports have been flagged, you will just see these people at the airport taking you one side to ask you questions, which eventually may lead to your delay. So they know that you are coming. I believe from the day you are booking that flight, they already know you will be there in that country so soon. So they so they know that you are coming. Now, what is overstay? And what can lead to overstay of visa? Overstay of visa is not necessarily when you stay for the entire duration of your visa. No. You may be given a five-year visa and you can spend eight months. That is overstay, even though your visa is still valid and running. Now, let me break it down to you. Like right here in the US, if you are giving, if you are giving the visitor visa, the tourist visa, the B1, B2, with that tourist visa, you are not expected to stay more than 180 days. You are not expected to stay more than 180 days. That is six months. So when you stay above six months, it is considered overstay. So for those of you who might not understand, this is what overstay means. Now, every visa 
has its rules that guides it. So when you are entering the US here, they stamp your passport, stamp your visa. Now, if you are expected to stay for six months, which is the rule that governs that visa, when you stay more than that six months, even though your visa is for five years or two years, as the case may be, you are considered to have overstayed. So that is what overstay means. Now, what are those things that can lead to overstaying your visas? It can be as a result of you were healed due to emergency, you were admitted at the hospital, you were robbed in that country, your belongings were stolen to the extent that there was no way you could leave. But if is these two these cases I just made mention of, if you overstay, you will need to have a document to prove that these things happened to you. For instance, if maybe you got robbed of your belongings, at least you are expected to go to the police station to report this incident so that there can be a police report to this effect. Because um, there are situations where you can overstay and still be forgiven. But that circumstance that will lead to you overstaying has to be worth it to these immigration people. Now, it can be like it can be as a result of maybe pandemic. We remember when COVID came. There were people who were, so to speak, trapped here in the US. They couldn't leave. Some Americans were trapped in other countries. They couldn't come. So those Americans that went on vacation, went on visits to other countries, they may have been considered to overstay if they have exceeded the time that was given in the visas that they use. So now your flight can also be canceled, which can lead to overstay. Now let's say you have spent 170, 178 days. After 178 days, you are supposed to leave the other day, which is the 179th day, because there's a 180 days rule. You don't have to spend more than 180 days as a visitor. So now, if on that 179th day, your flight got cancelled, a lot of things happened, and maybe that it eventually led to you spending an additional one week. You can still contest that because that wasn't your fault. It was as a result of your flight that was cancelled. Now, people will ask, if you are visiting the US with a visitor visa, why can't you stay more than 180 days? I said it earlier. Every visa has its rules. Yes, every visa has its rules. So when you violate this visa rule, many times there are penalties and consequences. And these consequences and penalties may be future and subsequent visa deniers because it is already on your record that you overstayed. You may leave and you may decide to renew that visa or decide to apply for another visa to that country. Due to that your record of overstaying previously may lead to your visa denier. That is one. Two, because you have overstayed your visa in that country, US, Canada, UK, other countries, depending on the country, 
you can even come again after you have stayed previously. At the port of entry, they will deny you entry into that country. Which is the reason why I have told a lot of my followers who have reached out to me asking me these questions that try as much as possible to plan your journey so that you don't overstay. But sometimes overstay can happen based on some circumstances beyond your control. In the next one, if you overstay, it can lead to your deportation. Yes, it can lead to your deportation. That country, for instance, like US right here, they gave you a visa to visit and go back to your country. That visa might be multiple entry visa, but it does not guarantee you to stay the entirety of the duration of the visa. That is to say, if that visa is for five years, you cannot just come to the US and stay for five years. You stay, for, you stay within six months and you go back. And it is usually advisable that you stay before that 180 days is completed or before that 180 days is complete, then you go back so that you don't have problems when you are coming back. The same thing applies to Canada. Yes, the same thing applies to Canada too. When you overstay, they can start removal proceedings whereby they can ask you to either leave or by themselves they will deport you. And this can also lead to revocation of your visa. There are cases where people's visa were revoked even though these visas weren't expired. So once they revoke that visa, it means you can no longer use that visa to come here to the U.S. Even if you are having 30 years left on that visa, when it's revoked, you cannot use it. And now, let me say this, which is the last part of this video. People will ask, what do I need to do? if I overstay my visa in that country. My advice to my followers and my subscribers here on YouTube when they reach out to me is usually for you to contact an immigration lawyer or an immigration expert. Because these people, this is their field. Because Sometimes you may think, oh, why do I have to spend money to get a lawyer? Why do I have to spend money for consultation with an immigration expert? See, don't be penny wise, pound foolish. When you overstay, get in touch with an immigration lawyer or an immigration consultant or with an immigration expert. These people are the ones that can give you professional advice. So it is very, very important for you to know these things because there are cases where people will overstay. There are people who reached out to me from Canada last year. They have spent up to seven months without even them knowing it was during our conversation I realized that they have overstayed. Because that stamp on the visa, that they, that stamp they will give you at the airport, they will put on your passport at the airport. Many people don't even look because usually there is date there that you are supposed to leave. So you cannot exceed that date. So this is why I have decided to make this video today. And I hope you guys enjoy this video also if you like this video please give this video a big thumbs up so that youtube can recommend this to other people as well so guys till i see you in my next video guys keep winning greetings to you and respect